Linda, over to you in Germany. We're up 0.9%. Who would have thought because we fell below yesterday's finish line in early trade, but are now up 4,822, the level where we're currently standing. A bit of a shock just before the market closed, and that was the second profit warning of Continental this year. The company announced already in September that they will have to reduce the EBIT margin, and now this EBIT margin will come in somewhere between 7.5% and 8% in the future. And the reason being is the sharp downturn in car production. We've seen Daimler, BMW, MAN, everybody cutting their production. That is hitting Continental, the car parts and tire maker, quite hard these days. The CFO, um, Alan Hippie, he also is considering not paying a dividend this year because compared with the dividend that the company paid last year, which was two euros per share, that would um, result in a relief of up to 338 million euros per year. But the question is, will they in fact scratch the dividend or not? It looks like here they're doing a step-by-step -step, um, adjustment. They're not really saying, yes, we'll do that, but it looks like they're trying to get a feeling for the market what would happen if they in fact did that. And we're looking at Continental at the moment, we're up almost 3%. And Maybe one thing is also that the CEO, Herr Neumann, will stay in office for the next five years. We were looking at Hooper Real Estate again. We were actually joking that Hooper Real Estate is like the very hungry caterpillar that it can't get enough state aid because today, again, it asked for 10 billion euros in extra state guarantees. It already had 20, and so the total amounts to 30 billion euros in guarantees. Then we have another 50 billion euros that Hooper Real Estate received from the entire German banking industry in credit facilities. So Hooper Real Estate, again, a bad news, but it is one of the best performers, up 4.4%. Thank you very much indeed, Linda, the hungry caterpillar. Now you can get more.